Okay, this is a video um, series. Will Clay. Um, Will, let's just, uh, you know, 20 years old, people may or may not know. You're uh, we're a bronze medalist at the World Outdoor Championships. You're a world championship indoors. You're a finalist in the long jump, and you're fourth in the long jump at World Indoor Championships. Uh, why don't we just start this one with uh, kind of telling uh, where you're from, a little bit about yourself, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, Will Clay, uh, 20 years old, Phoenix, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, went to Mount Point High School, played football. Thought I was gonna play football for a while, but you know this track, track thing uh, kicked up for me, and I uh, found my love in the triple jump and long jump. Um, and it's just after my junior year, you know, uh, went and medaled at uh, World Championships in Daegu, Korea. And ever since then, it's just been a whirlwind. You know, this whole track thing is just really really blew up for me and uh, I mean I get to come to places like this I'm mean, wearing St. Martin right now for a track meet so I mean I couldn't ask for more to have a job like this. Um, you're also the world uh, our American junior record holder at 17-19 uh, and uh, a very successful uh, long jumper early on. Uh, when did you initially know that you were going to be uh, pretty successful at the long and triple jump and, and what event uh, did you feel like you were going to go farther in initially? Um, I always felt I was going to go farther than the triple jump but uh, last year my long jump really 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 I really uh, it really caught up to the triple jump as far as you know the, the distances and um, now I just whichever one is on that day is wh whichever one I you know I like. Um, I feel like I can compete with the best of them in both events. Um, hopefully, win the gold medal in both events at long, at long and triple at the Olympics, 2012 Olympics. Um, but I mean, I think a, a triple jump still has a little bit more. I, my love, that's my, that's my love. So uh, I mean, I just, I just love to compete. So any, any event you put me on the track, I, I can try to compete with the best. Of them. Will, uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, um, I know Larry Todd was your high school coach, did a lot for you. Uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, younger days and who was your inspiration. I know your brother, you kind of looked up to him too, so why don't you tell us a little bit about initial, initially who was your inspirations and your coaches and so forth like that. Oh man, uh, growing up, I didn't really know much about track. All I knew was that my brother was a track star in Arizona. I didn't, I didn't really watch the Olympics. I mean, I know people like Michael Johnson and Marion Jones were, but other than that, that was really all I knew about track. So just watching my brother, I think was my biggest, you know, push to run track. Um, I really, I originally was a soccer player growing up. And um, just from watching my brother, it made me want to do track. He was a, a hurdler and a long jumper. So that's what I started doing. First, I was doing the 400, then I started long jump, and then the hurdles. And then I uh, ended up clipping the hurdle one day, and that was the end of my hurdling days. <laughs> no more hurdling for me after that. Um, but yeah, I think it was just my my brother, you know, he, he really, he, he even coached me for a little while, you know, uh, just gave me all the tips that he could. And um, I would go out to practice when I was real small, go to go to practice with him at uh, ASU and watch him practice with his high school coach. And then uh, just carried on into into high school for me. And uh, I, I originally was just doing track just to get ready, you know, get my speed right for football. But uh, my freshman year, I ended up winning state in the, in the triple jump. And uh, I still really didn't know about, really know what was gonna happen with the triple jump, but uh, then all the schools started calling me and calling me, uh, recruiting me to triple jump. And I was like, man, this is really, you know, this can really, you know, get, I just, it got me to college. Um, so I couldn't ask for more. I was, after that, I was like, okay, this is good. This is what I should be doing. And then tell me a little bit about your feelings. You got to win the world championship in front of your brother who probably hadn't seen you jump since you were really young. Uh, how special was that for you? Oh, that was awesome seeing my brother in uh, Turkey, in Istanbul. Um, I hadn't seen him in, 
I think it was almost four years. So it was just real emotional and uh, just hearing him in the crowd was just crazy because when I was younger, I was the one watching his football games. He was playing football at Cal Berkeley. And uh, I was in the stands, you know, watching him and cheering him on. And now I'm in Istanbul and he's in the stands going crazy, you know, uh, so that was, that was real cool. I really enjoyed it. Now, last question, you know, your brother lives in London, so how exciting would that be to represent the United States and being able to have your family as well as your brother, your mother, uh, a few other people watch you jump, compete? Oh, that's going to be a blessing, you know. Uh, just God willing, I make the team and I get out there. Uh, all my family will be, all my family will be in London. You know, my, my grandmother is there, my brother is there. I have two aunts in London, so uh, it, it'll be a blessing. And just, uh, I really, really want my my grandmother to watch me compete. You know, she hasn't ever been to a meet, so I think it'd be awesome for her to, you know, to be there. And that'll definitely give me a, give me a really, really big push to see her in the stands. Um, watching me compete. So you know, I just I'm just preparing. You know, getting getting everything right for trials. Make the team. Get out to London and uh, go for the gold. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's Will Clay. Video uh, blog number one. one. And uh, we'll keep on rolling with this.